The WISE program stands for Women in Science and Engineering. WISE students come to Johns Hopkins University two days a week for three hours to work in their labs. When I entered Garrison's High School, I started meeting people who had done the WISE program and who loved it, and I had always been interested in science. So I immediately started thinking, this might be something for me. In my lab, I've been looking at how the environment of cancer cells influences the growth of tumors. Knowing that there was a Women in Science and Engineering program at Garrison was really the driving factor for me coming here. People are always so surprised when you tell them I'm in high school and you're doing work that college students and graduate students are doing. It's just really remarkable. So how does staining go? It's going well. Good. Are you on your primary antibody step for fibronectin? I am. I actually just finished. Oh, great. Research is fundamentally different from classroom learning in that it's open-ended and ambiguous and there's no right and wrong answers and we don't know if we're going to even get to an answer in a particular problem and that can be a very confronting and difficult and uncomfortable place to be as somebody sort of getting started in the process. But on the other hand, because it's open-ended, it's a place where creativity plays an incredibly important role and getting people involved early when frankly they are still really creative is incredibly valuable both to them, but also to the lab. They bring new ideas and new perspectives. I think the WISE program is really important because there's an underrepresentation of women in the STEM fields. When WISE students return to Garrison Forest, they bring a very deep graduate level understanding of science and research. And they're able to take the concepts they get in the classroom and understand how that translates to the real world. They're more curious, more creative, and they think more independently. When I grew up, actually, I did not have this type of uh, opportunity uh, to do research in a lab and I was never directed towards that and at least the students that were in my lab so far always talk to me and say how much they appreciate it and it made them think about their future and how they can do more science in their futures. You know, the more they want to know, the more excited they become. So my project is to develop reagents for urinary dipsticks that test for gestational diabetes and urinary tract infections, basically by looking at whether or not there's trace elements such as ketones or nitrites in urine, we can tell whether or not a person has those diseases. It's been a really great experience um, for a couple of reasons. One of the really big ones is that I know for a lot of the schools that I'm interested in, in order to be competitive, I need to have this kind of research experience. It's allowing me to pursue my interest in global health on a level that I'd never be able to do in the classroom. With an interest in science, you can go anywhere. It's been really great for me to see what research is like at a world-class university. And it's really taught me that I absolutely want to pursue a career in science.